Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess Stanley, and I'm a survivor of a narcissistic relationship. My life is now dedicated to spreading awareness, education, and support for others going through the exact same thing. In this video, I want to talk about why narcissists are never happy and why they actually don't even want to be. Most people in life want some form of happiness, usually as much as possible. Narcissistic people, however, have a very different agenda. Narcs want power and control. Everything a narcissist does in that endless search of perfection and power actually ruins their overall chances of really any kind of happiness. They jump into relationships way too quickly with complete strangers. Then they get mad that this stranger isn't perfect. So it turns out when you love bomb somebody and you move way too fast, turns out you don't know who a person is. They move on quickly to a new stranger and this really frustrating history repeats itself. Narcissists are constantly disappointed in other people, adding to their overall lack of happiness. However, this is actually caused by the fact that narcissists place ridiculous standards on people. No one is going to be perfect, but that's exactly what the narc expects. There's no way a narc can't get angry at people because of this. They want ultimate perfect perfection from everybody all the time forever. Instead of looking for their own happiness, when they actually discover that someone or something isn't perfect, the narcissist will go out of their way to punish this person. And you can roll all of this over into every aspect of a narc's life. Everything in some way, shape, or form is stupid, worthless, or meaningless. Now, there are some small amounts of happiness in a narc's life from time to time, but you'll notice if you pay any attention and you know what, even if you don't, you're going to find the happiness doesn't last long. Also notice that when the fast and fleeting moments of happiness fade, the narcissist doesn't seem interested in finding happiness again. Believe it or not, these folks are not focused on happiness. Remember your love bombing phase, about three to six months of bliss before you started getting shit on six ways from Sunday. Yeah, inevitably. Well, what happened when the narc got really unhappy? Did they talk to you about why there was no more happiness? Probably not. If they talked to you at all, they yelled at you and told you how awful everything was. But I bet instead of saying, I'm unhappy and I really wish we could be happy again, help me find some happiness. I bet they instead focused on your smear campaign while they talked a bunch of smack about you to other people. I bet they focused on getting revenge on you, cheating on you and moving on with a new partner or partners, respectively. Bet you they focused on teaching you a lesson, dragging your name through the mud. Instead of looking for happiness, they were trying to outsmart you or somebody else. Things that only further isolate them, not things that would really bring them any kind of happiness. It's all very hady and revengey. Narcs can't stand being alone, but in doing these things, they become so difficult to deal with, you'll start to do anything to avoid them. If you'd like to talk with me one-on-one -on -one and get some help and support for what you're going through, you can send an email to book a chat with Jess at gmail.com, or you can get information and book those chats right on my website, jess-stanley.square.site. Links and information to work with me and get started are right down in the video description. I know some people in my life who have very narcissistic parents. I was one of them until my dad died. You'll notice these folks don't want to pick up the phone and talk to mom or dad, you know, depending, maybe both. They don't want to go home for the holidays. They try to dodge this person as often as they can because... The narcissist is insufferable. 
It's gossip and drama, bad mouthing, outsmarting, revenge, and just other really insufferable behaviors because the narcissist is not happy and they try to drag everybody else down into their little pool of unhappiness. And it really is sad when you look at it. The narcissist really is their own worst enemy. They get in the way of their own happiness. But there's a point I want to make here and it's I'm convinced and you can't tell me otherwise They don't actually want happiness. And my theory behind all this and the point that I want to make is what narcs really truly want other than being right all the time, being perfect and, you know, this God complex they have, what they really want is to play the victim. And you've probably even encountered some of this survivor. They're the victim. They're the underdog. Everything's so awful and terrible. Please help them. Well, most of your victims aren't generally very happy, (laughs) now are they? Those two words are quite opposite from one another. You need to feel sorry for them and help them, make them feel better about themselves, pay for them, vouch for them, so on and so forth. Again, Survivor, you know what it's like to take care of someone who fakes the victim, fake damsel in distress, and they're just helpless. How far out of your way, though? Here's the important thing. How far out of your way are you going to go for a person who's happy, cheery, nice, and relatively calm? They're going about their life. Some things get handled and some don't. That's life, okay? I'm not saying that you wouldn't help that person, but I guarantee you're going to do more for the man or woman, respectively, who's crying, screaming, throwing a fit, blowing up your phone. They hate life. They need help. Everything's awful and terrible. The sky's falling. You're terrible. You suck. I hate my job, my kids, my this, my that. Fix it. Fix it. It's your job. You've got to fix it. Those are two very different (laughs) scenarios. There is a person that is going to get more help over the other one. So I go back to narcissists play the victim because, I mean, we have to say what it is. It works. Moments of happiness, like I say, they're here and there for a narcissist. They do experience some of those things, but they never last long. They're good at acting, rest assured. They can act like they're happy. I kind of feel like it's all part of their master plan. I think these are very angry, very upset, depressed, just insufferable (laughs) individuals. You will never convince me that they want happiness because their ideals, their obsessive need for power and control, things like that, simply are not going to allow them to be happy. I don't think that's what they're after. They need to win. They need to have the power. And no matter what they do, and even when they get those things, there's still something off. Happiness is never what they're hunting for. And I will never believe anything otherwise. Share your own thoughts on this down in the comments if you feel comfortable doing that. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day, Survivor, and take care of yourself.